Consider these two sets. Can you tell how many fishes are there in the left aquarium? There is one fish in the left aquarium. We can also say that there is a single element in this aquarium. When a set contains only one element, we call it a singleton set. We write this set as open brace, fish, close brace. Now consider the aquarium on the right. You can see that there is no fish in this aquarium. It means that the aquarium is empty. When a set contains no element, we can call it an empty set. An empty set is also called a null or void set. An empty set is represented by empty braces or by a Greek letter which is called phi. So, phi is equal to empty braces. Let's look at the empty set with another example. We are asked to represent a set of birds having four legs. We know that birds have two legs and it is impossible for a bird to have four legs. So, the resultant set will be empty. It is written as empty braces or phi. Both representations are correct. Moving on, we will look at a few more examples. Consider the set of natural numbers between 1 and 2. Recall that the set of natural numbers contain the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Since there is no natural number between 1 and 2, this is an empty set. We express this as empty braces or phi. Can you name the days of the week starting with M? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Which day starts with the letter M? Only Monday starts with the letter M. So, we have only one element here. It is therefore a singleton set. We express this as open brace, the element Monday, close brace. Next, we want to find the set of people living on the moon. We know that mankind has set foot on the moon many years ago, but no one is living there now. Therefore, this is an empty set. Again, we express it as empty braces or phi. Lastly, we have a set of vowels between B and H. We know that the vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. You can observe that E is the only element between B and H. This will result in a singleton set. We write it as open brace, E, close brace. Now look at this set. Is this an empty set or a singleton set? Observe that zero is an element of the set. It does not mean that there are zero elements in the set. Therefore, this is a singleton set. We shall do a quick exercise together. Consider these two sets. Determine whether each set is an empty or singleton set. Give yourself a little while to think and discuss. Let us review. Have you seen any square with five sides? The answer is no. All squares have four sides. Therefore, this set has no elements. It is an empty set. We express it with empty braces or phi. Next, recall that prime numbers are only divisible by one and itself. It contains the numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Observe that 2 is the only even prime number. All other prime numbers are odd, otherwise they can be divided by 2. Hence, there is only one element in the set of even prime numbers. Therefore, 
it is a singleton set. In this video, we have learned about singleton and empty sets. Singleton sets contain only one element and are expressed with that single element in braces. Empty sets contain no elements and are expressed with empty braces or phi.